उसका बाद यहाँ में उसका बाप का नाम लिखा है ले चो मैन ये क्या है और यहाँ और एक एस में लिखा गया है चोना मैन का सोन ऑफ ले चो दो एस है उसका ये अरुणाचल को पूरा गुमराह बना रहा है और पीआरसी में लिखा गया है लेट ए बी मैन कौन है ये ई बी मैन had with us the representatives of our apex body the daikhamti singpo council we have the representatives for, from the sister organization daikhamti development society we have the representatives from the students apex body the all daikhamti singpo student union we have representatives from district student union the youth organizations all namsai area youth organization youth association all jongham youth organization we have also the representatives from our women organizations women welfare society namsai so this completely forms the country tribe represents the country tribe we feel that it is high time it is necessary for us to give some clarifications uh, through your steam channels to the public domain especially the message should pass on to the younger generations the youth organizations the student organizations so as to see that such kind of mis uh, information communication gap should not turn into other big problems so that's why we feel it it is very urgent and very necessary to give the press briefing i am siharaja chautang chau siharaja chautang i am president of taikhamti development society i have been interested or tries to initiate the press briefing i would like to uh, talk about the word gohai the use of word gohai by some of our khamti uh, people so for that i think i ha- i will have to go little back to the history of assam history of the ahom dynasty as it is related to that uh, period british time also the british time you know in the medieval assam sadia which is presently located under tinsukia district of assam was the capital of the Chutia Kingdom. You all must be knowing. There was Chutia Kingdom before Ahom Kingdom took over the reign. Due to the weak, incompetent rule of the Chutia Kingdom during that period, you know the Ahom Kingdom, Ahom Dynasty, annexed the Chutia Kingdom of Sadia Province. That was in the year. 1523-24. So then, the Ahom Kingdom, Ahom Dynasty under the ye Ahom Kingdom, Sadia was taken over. Then, the Ahom Kingdom, they installed their own chief, own king, that is Ahom King. Then Sadia became under the Ahom Dynasty, Ahom Kingdom. Uh, this thing uh, ahom king appointed a governor like post for that province to govern that province so he was called as the sadia khwa gohai so sadia khwa gohai the system of writing sadia khwa gohai giving the title of sadia khwa gohai started during the time of ahom kingdom so one must here understand that sadia khwa gohai is a title is a rank or position arrogated to a person who holds a position of authority on a frontier area and sadia was the frontier area at the time 
and he was also referred to as governor. That means the Sadia Kwa Gohai was something like the present day governor who rules and who administers the frontier at that time. And it is not a surname. So lots of the people may be having the uh, feeling that this is a surname. This is a surname belonging to some clan. So this, without understanding, some people used to say this is, sur uh, this is a surname. So we have to say that this is a surname. We have to say that this is a surname. Why the Khamti also started writing this Gohai? Some of the Khamti families, they also uh, started writing the Gohai. So, you know, Khamti people, they have migrated or they have entered Ornachal, present the Ornachal. Those days it was undivided Assam, undivided province under so many, you know, chieftainships in uh, the area. So we have come here since the mid 18th century, sometime in 1751 AD. So this is the history of Khamti. Then we came through Vijayanagar. We stayed there in Pangsao Pass for decades. Then we came down to Tengapani. Then we then pushed up to Sadia and we entered Sadia and settled there. But uh, as you know, our king our Khamti are known fighters. Our Khamti are known uh, for uh, patriotism, known for everything, good thing. So in the meantime, during that period, it was the Ahom already took over Sadia. But in the meantime, after we came, we took over the uh, uh, reign of this Sadia Hua Gohai at Sadia. We, we dethroned, we ousted the Ahom Sadia Hua Gohai. So we installed, the Khamti installed their own king, own chief, and he was also arrogated the title of the Sadia Hua Gohai. <coughs> so remember, that is sometime in, the, in 1794, 1794. So since then, the Khamti chief also came to be known as Sadia Hua Gohai. Because that is a title, that is a position held by whoever takes the throne, reign. So, but in the, in the meantime, with the passage of time, the word Gohai was not only attributed to the Khamti chief. Later, the class, uh, uh, it was, title was conferred even to the classes of people who assume or otherwise were assigned with administrative responsibilities, noble tax, the honored personalities as a mark of respect. So those who were important personalities who hold the, who held the positions in the administration, in dealing with the British governments, British authorities, they were also started when they given the name as Gohai. So, in due course of time, this practice came to other classes of the people also. Only not not all people, few people. So likewise. You must be knowing that there is uh, questions going on chaup, regarding Chow Book Gohai. Chow Book Gohai. Chow Book Gohai was father of Chow Namin, our deputy chief minister. He was popularly known as Chow Book Gohai. Actually, he is Chow Book Min. But since I have explained you, those persons who were in, on important jobs, important assignments, were also given the title Gohai. So he also wrote Gohai, as because he was also assigned with many important tasks, many important jobs of administration, political assignments by our chiefs, by our public. So he was also an honored person at the time. He's a person who had contributed 
during the time of British India, uh, yeah, during British yeah, India, and during the uh, pre-independence time. So he was one of the most important persons of our society, our, our community. And later, he went on to be selected as the founder member of the Agency Council in the year 1969. So he is such an important and responsible person who had contributed a lot before India became independent and after India became independent. independent. So you must be knowing that in the recent time, while celebrating the 50 years of Arunachal Pradesh, celebrated at zero, he was also honored as one of the founder member of the agency council. So such a person cannot be alleged that he is from Assam. He does not belong to, he did not belong to country tribe. So Chauna is also a person not belonging to Ornachal. He is a uh, he is also from Assam. So these kind of allegations are baseless, untrue, and they are truly khamti. They are by birth khamti, they are by blood khamti, and their family have totally and definitely contributed a lot. And till today, our DCM is contributing for the development of our state, for the development of our society, and everyone. So I believe alleging them and telling the Gohai are not Khamti, are not the Khamti. They are from Assam. They belonging. They are. They belong to Assamese. This is totally baseless. Totally baseless. This is untrue, and we deny to this. We entire the Khamti community, Thai Khamti community, deny to it, and we appeal all the people, especially the younger generations the youth organizations, and including all concerned to please do not be carried away, do not be misunderstood by this uh, uh, news doing around in the social media. So this is as regards to the Gohai issue. Now coming to the point, second point, and second point is as regards to Tai Khamti. Why we are writing Tai Khamti now? Not earlier we were recognized in the uh, as Khamti. You know, Tai is a great race belonging to the Mongolian race of the Asian countries. You must be knowing most of our people from Ornachal Pradesh belong to this Mongolian race. So Thai is a great race of Mongolian origin. So since time immemorial, we call ourselves Thai Khamti. Till today, we call ourselves as Thai Khamti. We never call ourselves as Khamti. But somehow in the process, it was uh, recognized in the Constitution of India, in the ST uh, list of Ornachal Pradesh, as Khamti. And this correction, we had appealed to the government many a times earlier, since long time. But it was not considered for the reasons, so many reasons, which we are not very much aware of it. However, in the latest amendment of 2021, the recommendations and active for the uh, with the recommendation and active persons of our state leadership under the leadership of our honourable Chief Minister Sri Pema Khandu and our honourable Deputy Chief Minister Chaunamin and the central leadership under the yeah, under Sri Narendra Modi ji and our central minister Sri Kiran Rinjuju ji our matter was considered and 
uh, it was corrected as Tai Khamti by the Constitution Shalud Tribe Order Amendment Act 2021. This was approved under Act Number 32 of 2021. Like any other earlier amendments done in 2008 and 2011 in the case of Nishi tribe and the Galo tribe respectively. So earlier, Nishis were also known as Dafla. So it has been now corrected to Nishi. So likewise, the Adis and the Galos were also known as Abor. But somehow this was also corrected and they have now uh, got the identity as Galo and the Adi. So this Abor is also done away in the recent amendment of 2021. So here the question of taking the Thai Khamti, the writing Thai Khamti, and that uh, we are having some motives to bring the other yet Thai, race. Thai race people belonging to Assam. staying in Assam to the ornamental fort, to our fort, whole. This is totally baseless. There was uh, anomaly. We got it corrected when we are now distinctly belonging to the Thai race, Thai great race, and we call ourselves Thai country. So there is no motive, there is no uh, uh, intention of inviting all the Thai communities across the countries yeah, or from Assam to our own natural produce. This allegation is also uh, yes, yes. Uh, doing around in the social media by some uh, people, some groups of people. So show your steam channel. I would like to request that this message be carried down to the people, especially I'm telling repeatedly the younger generations who do not know much about the history of Thai Khamti, history of Onachar Pradesh. So before making any allegation, going to the press and media, one must try to study the things, know the things correctly. Thank you, President Thai Khamti Touring Society. Regarding Lamsai Reserve Forest, uh, alleges, alleged by some organization of Onachar Pradesh, कि यहाँ पे नमसाय टोटली नमसाय डिस्ट्रिक्ट पूरा फॉरेस्ट रिजर्व में है और यहाँ में जितना भी डेवलपमेंटल एक्टिविटीज चल रहा है इसको रोकना चाहिए उसका रीवेरिफाई करना है ये ये एलिज किया गया है कुछ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन और निजल का तो इस विषय में मैं कुछ कहना चाहूँगा ये नमसाय रिजर्व फॉरेस्ट को लेकर जो परसेप्शन जो क्रिएट किया गया है ये ये एलिगेशन का ये जो एलिगेशन का एलिगेशन का वजह से जो अरुणाचल का वासी लोगों को का मन में जो पहले जो परसेप्शन क्रिएट किया गया है वो बिल्कुल ही गलत परसेप्शन क्रिएट किया गया है और नमसाई रिजर्व फॉरेस्ट सबसे पहले मैं ये बोलना बताना चाहूँगा कि नमसा रिजर्व फॉरेस्ट डिक्लेयर किया गया है 1936 को आ, ये ड्यूरिंग द ब्रिटिश रूल 15 अक्टूबर 1936 को ये जब रिजर्व फॉरेस्ट डिक्लेयर किया गया था उसी समय उस समय में भी हम लोग का आदमी यही में भी था और यहाँ हम लोग का लोग उसमें हम लोग का आदमी लोग को भी पूछा गया है कि रिजर्व फॉरेस्ट के बारे में कि कितना पोर्शन देगा कितना नहीं देगा तो उस समय में इतना फार साइटेड नहीं था होगा हम लोग का सीनियर्स हम लोग का लीडर्स जो गांवराज लोग था जो पब्लिक लीडर्स लोग था तो उसी का वजह से मतलब जो मोस्ट ऑफ द पार्ट नमसा का पार्ट रिजर्व फॉरेस्ट में दे दिया सौ साल होने वाला है इट्स नियरली अब फोर्टीन अभी जो चौदह साल के बाद तो फोर्टीन ईयर्स हो जाएगा डिक्लेरेशन ऑफ द रिजर्व फॉरेस्ट तो ये सौ साल में तो अभी पॉपुलेशन एक्सप्लोजन तो ऑब्वियसली होगा तो इसलिए यहाँ में जितना भी एक्टिविटीज नमसा में हो रहा है रिगार्डिंग डेवलपमेंटल एक्टिविटीज दिस इज नॉट एंटायरली इन द मिड ऑफ द रिजर्व फॉरेस्ट में नहीं जहाँ जहाँ पे ऑलरेडी इन्हेबिटेड है हम लोग का लोकल पीपल 
वही में ही डेवलपमेंटल एक्टिविटीज़ है तो मैं यही कहना चाहूँगा कि जो भी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इस विषय को अगर ये नमसाई का डेवलपमेंटल एक्टिविटीज़ को आ, ये रिजर्व फर्स को लेकर अगर कोई रोक टोक करना चाहेगा तो मैं यही कहना चाहूँगा कि अगर आप लोग ये ऐसा करेगा तो ये एक गलत परसेप्शन जाएगा क्योंकि ये पूरा फॉरेस्ट को डिस्ट्रॉय करके नहीं बनाएगा ये ऑलरेडी इन एक्चुअल लोकल पीपल का जहाँ इन्हेबिटेड है वही में ही वो किया गया है जहाँ जहाँ आदमी बैठता है ये पूरा ये थ्रू दिस मीडिया में पूरा अरुणाचल का वासी को बोलना चाहूँगा कि दिस इज़ नॉट द एक्चुअल फैक्ट आप आइए नमसाई पे आके देखिए कि कहाँ पे नमसाई बसा हुआ है नमसाई का डेवलपमेंट एक्टिविटीज किस राह पे हो रहा है कौन सा जगह में हो रहा है आप आके देखिए योर एवरीबडी इज मोस्ट वेलकम हियर ये जो नमसाई रिजर्व है ये किया गया है 1936 को आफ्टर डेथ डेथ आफ्टर डेथ यहाँ में पॉपुलेशन एक्सप्लोजन हुआ है यहाँ पे इतना डेवलपमेंटल एक्टिविटीज हुआ है अगर नमसाई रिजर्व को अगर बचाना है अगर किसी का नेचर का बारे में नेचर को सोच के यहाँ पे कुछ ज़्यादा ही रफ्तार से अगर बढ़ रहा है किसी को तकलीफ है तो गवर्नमेंट को बोलिए गवर्नमेंट के साथ बातचीत करके आप सोल्यूशन निकाल सकता है इस चीज़ को गो एंड गोइंग अराउंड इन द सोशल मीडिया एंड पोकिंग द नोसिस ऑफ डेवलपमेंटल एक्टिविटीज नॉट गोइंग टू ब्रिंग एनी सोल्यूशन यर